So if you thought about using Notion and you're an aspiring podcaster, this is going to save you a lot of time. Now, unless you've been under a rock for the last couple of years, Notion is all the craze on YouTube, and there's a reason for it. So aside from being able to create uh, versatile pages, customizable spaces for your team, plus a, a lot more, it's just great for businesses, creators, and everything in between. And not to mention, it just looks really cool. Now, today I'm going to walk you through how I'm using this tool for my podcast. And no, it's not a sponsored video, but uh, I've just been loving it so much. And uh, it's been really great for my business and my podcast, specifically to make me more productive. So if you're a podcaster out there, I think you're going to get some value out of this. I don't know if you could relate, but before Notion, uh, all I would do is just put a bunch of crap in my notes app on my iPhone. And it was just a mess. In fact, when I even had the time to create my videos, I just would like aimlessly scroll through my notes app trying to find what I created. And then when I I finally found it, there wasn't a lot of things I could do to organize those ideas. So personally, I've learned a ton on Notion just in the last couple of years uh, by watching YouTube videos. So I'm not going to bore you with like a, a full blown tutorial. Maybe I'll do that down the road for my workflow, but there's a lot of other creators out there that are much more skilled with Notion and I'll let them go into the tutorials. But today I just wanted to kind of walk you through how I organize my podcast and hopefully it'll give you some motivation to maybe bring this over to your podcast. Now I've actually created a uh, podcast template that I've given to a bunch of my friends that host their own podcast. I'll leave that in the description below if you want to use that. It's completely free as long as you have Notion. Simply download it as a template and you can customize it however you want and hopefully you'll get some value out of that. Okay, let's get right into this. Let's go ahead and head over Notion and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, uh, this is just kind of my homepage. Again, I won't bore you with a full tutorial. Maybe I'll do something down the road, but this is just kind of like a daily checklist for me. So this is where I have all my projects, all my video ideas that I'm going to do. Uh, but these are actually things I'm currently working on. And then I have an ideas only tab. And this tab is really cool because I do podcast coaching, content creation, and some other stuff. So this is just kind of where I structure everything. And then whenever I'm ready to rock and roll with the video, like for example, uh, my next video is become a content creator for less than a thousand bucks. So I'll literally just copy that and I'll put it in the projects tab. And that literally just goes to the tab I just showed you. So I have way too many tabs open, but this is just how my brain works the best. Um, but again, going back to the podcast portion of it, this is how I lay out my personal podcast. And I'm going to show you the template that I put together after this, but just to kind of give you an idea. So these are already posted. So this is my actual podcast. And again, with the template, you can change everything you want from the cover image to the title, your description of the podcast. You know, you could literally do anything you want. What I like about this specific feature on Notion is you can organize everything. So I have two types of podcasts. I have a guest podcast, and then I have a solo podcast where it's just kind of me ranting, kind of like I am right now, but it's in the podcast format. And I do research and I talk about uh, productivity and um, self-improvement, health and wellness, things like that. And each one, it's pretty simple. They're all the same, the same structure, the same layout. Just to kind of walk you through how each of these work. Whenever you're ready to do a podcast, all you do is you just open up this template. You change the name of whatever it is. So this is podcast episode. And then if you notice for each podcast episode, I break it up into segments and I'll talk about each one of those uh, real quick. But obviously, we're just going to change this to research and planning because you haven't published this yet. I put a tab here where you could do title ideas, thumbnail and artwork ideas, your guest info. So if you have a guest coming on, you could put their social media handles here and really any information that you want. That's just kind of the basic stuff. The meat and potatoes, I think. This is gonna be the most beneficial thing uh, for you as the podcaster. So I have two sections here, an episode prep and checklist. So the episode prep, uh, I think is the biggest challenge. A lot of my podcast clients really enjoy this format. So this is just kind of like a basic format example that you might see with some other uh, podcasts. I literally break it down for you, starting with a quick teaser of the episode. So. You know, if you look at maybe something like Colin and Samir, um, I've linked up their podcast here. They have just a, a really cool cold open. So you want to start your episode with something engaging those first 30 seconds to a minute. And then, of course, you go into your podcast intro and your music. And nowadays, I mean, you know, you don't want a long intro. <laughs> I mean, I would say like 10 to 20 seconds is plenty. And then, you know, I break it up into sections. So there's an introduction where I kind of talk about the episode. Segment one and segment two is the guest introduction. So I literally just kind of break up each individual podcast episode into sections. And usually how I structure each of my episodes is based off this format. It's pretty loose. You know, personally, I don't physically script the episode. I just kind of break it up into bullet points and then I study it prior to. So I'm not looking at this format 
during the episode. This is just my way to kind of plan, especially if it's maybe in person or if it's a big guest, I definitely wanna do uh, this example. And next up going back, so that's format example and there's research and notes. So for example, if you are having a big guest on and you need to do any type of research, whether it's maybe background or if they're an author, you need to buy their book or look into it, um, you can put all that information here. So that way, when you do post the episode, you'll actually have all this data. So that way you're not going back and forth with the guests asking them, what's a brief description about yourself? Oh, hey, I forgot to ask you, what's your social media handles? You kind of get that all at once. And then you put it in here. So that way it's all structured and organized versus having it like in an email, which is how I used to do it. And that was just really annoying, not just for me, but also for the guests. And then of course, any research you need to do for the specific episode, uh, you could do that here. Now here's the checklist. So this is something I typically do in studio. Um, when I'm like getting ready to record my episode, this is something I, I open up. So the other stuff, it's kind of prepping, right? This is actually like the day of I open it up. So I wanna structure out my A-roll. So I wanna figure out what that looks like. And then once I have all that recorded and done, I'll import the episode footage into my software. Boom, I click that off when it's done. And then during the editing process, I wanna scrub everything for filler words or pauses, uh, anything like that, I check that off. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, Tony, why are you going through this like one at a time? Why don't you just do all this at once? Because sometimes I get a lot of podcasts and a lot of projects up and running. So I might hop back and forth in between each one. So whenever I'm like, you know, mid project, I can do this and I don't have to go back and remember, oh, I didn't edit this part or, oh, I didn't remove the fillers from this episode. I literally just kind of go through a checklist. That, so that way I know exactly what I've done and haven't done to keep me a little bit more organized. For the B-roll section, maybe you're gonna do that like after you record the episode, which sometimes I do a lot of, especially for that cold open. So I wanna cut up any B-roll sections, I did that. B-roll overlays and transitions, I did that. And I kind of go through the whole thing. So that way each podcast episode is structured the exact same way every single time. And then of course I export the footage and then I save the episode. So again, just kind of like a, a really easy template to follow a checklist. And then this is my publishing checklist. So this looks like a lot. <laughs> in fact, it is. I mean, if you really want to do this thing the right way and you want to get your podcast out to the masses, personally, this is kind of how I do it. And what's great about this template is, I mean, you could add things you want. So if you want to add something here, you can. Make sure you spell right. Add something here, you can, right? So this is just kind of a structured checklist that I've been following for the three something years that I've done my podcast where, you know, I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but you could see the second I booked the guest and then I plan for the episode and then I confirm it and then I record it. So literally all the way down the line into post publishing. So post publishing is probably the most important, I think, which is you want to make sure you link it up in your bio uh, for social media. And then you want to write a post for uh, LinkedIn, X, threads, etc. Uh, promoting the podcast. If you want to do maybe little bullets, you could say, reach out to guests to help cross promote. So these are like little things that you can add to give you some sort of checklist. So that way, as you're promoting your podcast, you'll have these checklists in place. And again, I go back to the reason I do this is because I don't want to like remember what I did and didn't do. Now, if you're the type of person that, you know, you do like one project and then you just record that and that's it. And then you go to a project when you're done, this is not going to be good for you. But if you're like me, I have like so many tabs open, as you could see, and I'm recording multiple things at a time. So I just get caught up in like, what did I do? What didn't I do? And this just really helps me stay organized with everything. But let me show you this, friends. So this is something that again, I'll leave in the description. This is a template I'll put together. So it comes to you just like this. So the, these are just examples, episode one, episode two, but I just want to give you an example of like how you can customize this. Now, again, what's cool about this is if you don't do solo podcasts, that's okay. You could just simply delete this page and you'll just be left with this one. But this is fully customizable. When you open it up, it literally has the exact same thing I just went over with you. Um, the format example, it's got that. Uh, research and notes, it's got that, right? Film and edit checklist, it's got that. Publish checklist, it's got that. So it literally has everything <laughs> that you would want. And again, this is completely free. The only reason I put this together is because uh, I've spent a while kind of building these templates for Notion. And um, I just found out that you can actually share 
these templates uh, with people uh, for free. And I think it's going to help you not only stay organized, but when it comes up like a podcast, depending on who your guest is and depending on like how you want your podcast to go, this is a really cool way to stay organized, to stay structured and treat this as if it's a job. Because if you want to be a successful podcaster, you got to do all the right steps. And of course, you know, I'm the first to say that a podcast should not be structured. They should be chill and relaxed. Um, which mine are, but when it comes to like the editing process, if you're doing everything your own, like I am, like I don't have a team like Joe Rogan. So I have to keep everything organized because I want to portray this high quality production value of my podcast. But since I do everything myself, I don't want to forget anything, especially if it's really important to the viewer and the listener. So I think that's going to help you get organized. Uh, I'd love to know your feedback. If there's anything I missed, or if maybe there's a, uh, some other features that you use in Notion that isn't on here, leave those in the comments below for everyone watching. Check out that free template. It, uh, it doesn't cost anything. Just simply click the link below. And as long as you have Notion available, you'll be able to download that. And I even included instructions when you do download that template. So if you've never used Notion before, it'll kind of walk you through how you can download everything there. But listen, I hope this helps. I really enjoy this app. I think you guys are gonna love it as well. And as always, make sure you hit that sub and like button if you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to check out my podcast if you haven't already. But thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, we will see you later. Happy creating, friends.